What's up everybody? This is Jesus Quesadilla here. Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City. What? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm not playing San Andreas here today. Uh, I actually decided I took a look at my YouTube channel today and I noticed I hit a sort of landmark. Um, 500 subscribers, which I am pretty dang proud of, and so I thought, why not return to Vice City and take care of some of the bonus missions that I never got to in my initial Let's Play, uh, just because, just to celebrate, since it was my first LP and I'd like to do that. So I'm here today, and we're going to go ahead and take care of all the Avery Carrington missions in a single episode, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. Alrighty, guys. So, like I just said, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take care of all the Avery Carrington missions, and um, this is probably gonna be the first of a few bonus episodes I do over the course of the next few weeks. Not really sure uh, how frequently I'll update this, but I'll do these occasionally where I go back to Vice City and do some of the uh, side things uh, for Avery Carrington, Love Fist, Phil Cassidy, all those side characters that aren't important to the main story of the game, but they can still be fun to revisit. Uh, so this first mission, we're going to go ahead and pick up some golf attire. <laughs> Damn straight. Okay, so now that we're all dressed up for the part, apparently there's some guy we gotta go take care of for Avery over at the golf course. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a trick here. It's actually not that hard to figure out that you can do this. I'm sure this is intentional, um, but let's go ahead and park here. And the game's going to kind of explain that, uh, yeah, where the guy is, he's out there just hitting golf balls into the water, because that's what rich guys do. But, um, so you see a metal detector over there, if you walk through that, then the game will actually take away all your guns and leave them at the entrance. But there's a way around it. If you just take pretty much any old car and park it sideways against this, it's kind of like a ramp, I guess you could call it, uh, like so then you can actually hop on top of the hood of your car, climb up to the top, and just hop on over. And now you've actually been able to retain all your weapons that way, which gives you a huge advantage. Um, because normally you'd be trying to complete this mission with just a golf club, which can complicate things. Um, but this way we have our guns, so things should be easy, squeezy, lemon peasy. Let's just go get, let, let's uh, go drive out to the shooting range and take this guy out. Um, if you want to make things even easier for yourself, you can plan ahead and bring a sniper rifle and just take him out from far, but, uh, eh, it didn't really feel like it. Let's just go ahead and, uh, actually, let me switch to my machine gun. Yeah, so he's got some bodyguards, but, uh, they're no big problem. And, uh, oh, get back here. Get out of that golf cart. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, didn't want to have to chase after him, but I guess I'm going to have to. Alright, where'd he go? I thought that was uh, that was my old golf cart. I thought that was him. Yeah, so if he manages to get to a golf cart, you have to give chase, but no big deal as we have a machine gun, so we can do drive-bys like a boss. Um, there's actually another trick you can do. Um, if you want to, you can, before you spook him by walking up to him with your guns ablazing, you can actually take all the, go the golf carts and move them further away from uh, the putting range or the driving range, whatever the heck it's called, and that way he has a further distance to run to actually reach them, so that way it's more likely you have time to kill him before he reaches anything. Uh, alternatively, you could also just dump the golf carts into the water. That's even more effective, but again, that's a lot of uh, work being put into a mission that's relatively easy. Now that we popped his tires, he's pretty much dead. Yeah, I don't know where you think you're going to escape to, buddy, and now you're on fire. Uh, you gonna bail out there? <laughs> I guess that's no, and so for that we get a 
nice 500 bucks, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, really ain't that much. But now we get to move on to the next mission for Avery. Um, there's going to be three total, and... Well, before I get back to that, hit this jump! Yeah! Stick the landing. Alright, let's get out of that. That thing is trash. Uh, but I do like this, the Comet. Okay, very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and head back to Avery. The next mission, um, is probably the most difficult of the three, um, simply because of the controls that we're going to be using. Um, we're not going to be using a typical vehicle for this next mission. This next one's pretty unique and interesting, actually, and I'll let you guys go ahead and see what that's going to be right now. Where'd that rain come from? Alrighty, Demolition Man! Demolition, listen, listen, man, man, man. Always gotta have that little intro with the limousine. Now look here, son. I got a problem and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as plan, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now, I'm going to head out of town for a while, and if that office development were to face sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? I didn't realize that Tommy was quite that eloquent. But yeah, so the game's going to redirect you to go to the top fun van, and that already should raise some eyebrows, but check this out. This... Pretty snazzy, I think, actually. Very covert, black ops style. Alright, so this is the building we gotta blow up. Basically, we're going to use an RC copter! Yeah! Um, if you guys are familiar with any of the Grand Theft Auto games, you know that RC vehicles control like shite. Um, those are just a pain in the ass to maneuver with. Uh, the RC helicopters, in particular, being some of the hardest to control, especially in San Andreas, which, uh, you know, all about that. But anyway, this is what we're going to be doing. There are four places we need to drop bombs in seven minutes total, and uh, we're going to have these construction workers, and I hesitate to call them police officers because I don't think that's what they are. I think they're just security of some sort, like private security, but um, they're going to be trying to blow up the RC copter, which is actually pretty fragile, so if you can at all, try and stay out of range of their attacks. I'll get into more detail with that in a second. But yes, yeah, so now the the timer started counting down. Um, the timer's actually not that big of a deal. Seven minutes is plenty of time for this mission. And why didn't I drop the bomb? Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, you'll notice these guys have hammers, which means if you basically just stay hovering in the air high enough, they can't really hit you. The only guys you really should have to worry about are the security guys because they have guns. Um, and they can shoot at you from afar regardless of how high in the air you are. Um, but we do sort of have a weapon we can use against them, but I'll go ahead and show that once we actually encounter one. Um, some people... Well, some people like to uh, start out this mission by going to the highest floor. Um, basically, there are four levels of this building. So there's this ground level we're at now. It's kind of like the basement, actually. And then there's a first, second, and third floor of the actual building. So basically, we have to plant a bomb on each of the floors. So for some reason or another, people tend to like, or at least this is what I've heard, is that going to the fourth floor and working your way down is actually easier than starting at the bottom and working your way up. Personally, I don't really see how it makes that big a difference, but I digress from that. But anyway, yeah, in case you guys didn't just notice that, um, I took out that security guard with the propeller blades on the helicopter. Yes, these things are deadly for some reason. Um, if you fly into somebody with the front of your blades, you will just slice them up, like so. And they go flying in the air. Excellent. Um, although you can't pick up their guns, which kind of sucks. But anyway, we'll just fly around here. So, yeah, I, I don't really see how it would matter if you started with the fourth floor or with the first floor and worked your way up or down from there. Um, seems like it would take the same amount of time either way, but maybe there's something to the logic there I'm not getting. Anyway, 
to make our way back down and pick up another bomb. You can see we're already halfway done. It's only two more to go, which is not bad. And these guys are being a pain in the ass. Get away. Get away, I say. You will respect my authority. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick this sucker up. And we already have, uh... We've only spent two and a half minutes, so we're again, we're pretty good on time. The timer there should not be a factor. The only way I could really see you failing this mission is if you crash the RC copter. I remember I used to dread this mission, uh... Back when I first played the game, it, I actually never completed the Avery Carrington missions, which sucks because um, by not completing the Avery Carrington, eh, Avery Carrington missions, you cut yourself off from a lot of the rest of the game. Um, if you don't complete these, then you can't do any of the missions for the Cubans and the Haitians, which that's probably going to be saved for another bonus episode now that I think about it. I'm going to have to do one for each of those because there's plenty of those to do. Um, but yeah, so the first time I played through this game, I actually didn't get to experience a good chunk of it. Um, because of this mission right here, which for some reason or another was just really frustrating. I personally blame the controls, which... Yeah, those are crapping out on me right now. Uh, no, I want you to fly forward, not backwards. Yeah. Camera angles with this thing are just no fun. Especially playing on the PC. For some reason, I can't get used to the controls here on the computer. I'm trying to acclimate as best as I can, but nothing beats a good old PS2, I think. Alright. At least for Vice City. Now, one bomb to go, and I think it's on the first floor, so... shouldn't be that big a deal. Let's go and pick this sucker up. And once you uh, drop off the last bomb, they actually just blow up right there on the spot. So you don't have to worry about, like, escaping with the helicopter. I mean, I can't see why you would need to do that unless it was really expensive and you didn't want to destroy it or something. But, uh, yeah, when you drop off this last bomb, then the mission ends and you complete it. So let's hurry on up there. Alrighty. And... I'm pretty sure there weren't any guys with guns on this floor. I think they're only on the second and third floor, so I'm pretty sure I'm safe here. And let's watch the fireworks! Kabang, baby! Boom goes the dynamite. Damn, that's sexy. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the building will actually stay that way. Um, after this mission, that building will be permanently damaged. So, uh... There you go for lasting impact in the overworld. This is actually one of the few missions where uh, what you do actually affects the game world for the rest of the game, which I think is kind of neat. But anyway, last Avery Carrington mission, 2-bit hit. Let's go ahead and do that. And of course, obligatory limo cutscene. Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald oh my god, Donald Tommy Love. Love. Awesome. The gunslinger to come to these parts. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a Haitian gang lord died. Apparently the Cubans did it. Nobody's certain, but let's make them certain. You disguise yourself as a Cuban hombre and head on down and crash that funeral. Mix it up, and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. Alrighty, sounds like a plan. If you guys don't know why I had my little fanboy moment at uh, Donald Love, is because he's actually a reoccurring character from Grand Theft Auto 3, and uh, I actually think he appears in Liberty City Stories as well. Possibly San Andreas, but I'm not too sure on that. I'm pretty sure he does appear in Liberty City Stories, though. Um... But his first game was Grand Theft Auto 3, and so that's just a little fun little thing for people who played the previous game. Actually, Grand Theft Auto 3 is the only uh, Grand Theft Auto I've never completed all the way through. Um, except for some of the... Uh, that, I, actually, I take that back. I've also never completed the Ballad of Gay Tony DLC for Grand Theft Auto 4, but... Besides that, Grand Theft Auto 3 is the only game I've never actually sat down and completed in its entirety. So, so, I don't know, something to think about. But I do remember Donald Love from that game, and he is a cool cat. Um, actually a little bit creepy once you find out some stuff about him, but anyway, enough on that. 
Alright, so we gotta disguise ourselves as a Cuban and stir up some trouble with the uh, Haitian gang. These are the two major gangs here on the mainland in Vice City. And so, we're gonna get some clothing. And that is a very tight-fitting shirt. Uh, whoever the tailor is in there just did not do wonders for Tommy's body figure. But anyway, let's not run over them. Those aren't the guys we want to piss off. Those are our friends for uh, now, anyway. But yeah, let's go ahead and find this uh, Haitian crime lord's funeral or whatever the heck it is. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and show an easy way to do this mission. Um, because it can be a lot more difficult if you don't know how to approach it correctly. Basically, this guy's going to try and escape in a hearse. But not just any hearse. A hearse that throws exploding coffins out the back. So, um... If you can, the best thing to do is to cut him off before he actually reaches the hearse, like so, and just take the hearse, and that way he gets thrown out of it. And now, for some reason, he won't get back into it, so now now the hearse is taken out of the equation, we don't have to worry about that. But we do have to worry about getting ran over and shot, and holy crap, okay, let's just get out of here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that, I need to re- okay. Regroup, regroup, oh god. What the hell? Oh man, okay, just just run away. Forget... Alright. Oh god, this is a fail. Well, the important thing there is that we got the hearse out of the way, so now he can't escape in that, and that's honestly the most annoying thing about this mission. But now I need some health very desperately. Um, or at least a car. I think if I get in a car, I can probably run him over and not have to get out, hopefully. Yeah, police bribe if you need it. Uh, why are there no cars on the road? Oh, don't tell me this mission, like, despawns them or something. That'd be weird. Um. Damn it, I see one all the way down there, but I'm never going to get to it. I need a car! My kingdom for a car. Seriously, I'm not picky. Oh, a Haitian car. Even better. That's karma, bitch. Alright, let's get this guy. Whoa! Holy crap, what's that guy's issue? Damn. Alright. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and drive back there and see if we can't run this guy over. Oh, yep, splat right there. And now all you have to do is kind of, like, get out of little Haiti, which, uh, is not too difficult. Just drive like a bat out of hell. I don't think that bats out of hell actually drive, but you get my point. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and take this freeway up here, I guess. Why not? And that's basically it. That's all the uh, Avery Carrington missions, so... Like, fan freaking tastic I guess. Cool, 25 grand, which... Doesn't really seem like a lot, but I guess I'll take it, whatever. Anyway, I want to go ahead and park the car up here. Once I get through the loading screen. But yeah, those are the Avery Carrington missions, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this little bonus episode. I'll be sure to do some more of these in the future. Um, we can go ahead and... Oh, let me take this phone call. I, I forgot about this. Saint Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's gonna kill you. Hey, <laughs> yeah, about Leo's that. already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of that, prick? You kill Leo? You must have big on it. Wanna work for me? <laughs> That's a strange reaction to finding out your friend just got killed, but okay. Hire the guy that killed him. I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me on this one. In the next bonus episode, we'll probably do some more side missions and whatever fun extra crap I feel like doing. But until then, just want to give a quick thanks for 500 subs, guys. Really means a lot to me. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. That about covers everything I want to do. So, until next time, this has been Jesus Quesadilla, and I'm signing out and wishing you well. Peace!